I'm gonna go back to the standard. And, and really in a world where nobody has standards anymore, I hear everybody talk a lot about goals. I got goals, who gives a shit? What's your standards? See, because what you're getting in life now is in direct to your standard. I can grab organizations right now that literally are making less money than last year, but yet they still haven't trained their team. Their team still can't overcome common objections. Simple stuff. I need to think about it. I gotta get back with you. I gotta talk to my wife. Same, same stuff happens every day. I'm gonna ask everybody a question. If somebody walked in here right now and just slapped you across the face. Okay, it'd be like, dude, what the hell? If they came back around again and did this, would you guys be ready? Well, why aren't salespeople ready when somebody hits them with an objection twice? No standards. Where do they get that from? The leaders. Make sure you set the standard for yourself. Okay, set the standard for your freaking self, okay? Hey, listen, the reason why there's training is because there's a 2.0 version and a 3.0 version for every one of you. And there's no way in hell you're ever gonna get it if you don't get any better. Every time you study something, every time you practice something, every time you train on something, every time you plug into any type of self-development, even the worst self-development, it is good for you. It makes you think, man, wh how, what is my edge? What is my next level? I don't know where you came from, but at 18 years old, I never had more than $20 in my hand. Someone gave me an opportunity. Okay, it's disrespectful when someone gives you an opportunity for you not to give it all you got and get better every day. It's dis freaking respectful to you, to your clients, to your leaders, dude, to the whole organization. A lot of people are like, hey, my sales team isn't as good as they should be. Well, let me ask you a question. Number one, let's go through some leadership stuff. Since we're talking about amateurs and pros, do people want to be led by a leader that reaches for more? Yes or no? Yes, they do. Is the leadership team, the people that are in charge of the team, are they reaching for more? Are you? Secondly, leaders have one thing in common. They have followers. Leaders don't have a rank. They don't have a title. They don't have seniority. They are leaders. Those are managers. Managers have rank, seniority, and titles. They use manipulation to get people to do what they need to do. If you don't do this, I won't pay you. Leaders lead by inspiration. Uh, remember I said why? Why do we do what we do? Right, you guys know the, you telling people every day why we do what we do will be the most important way to never let your team outgrow you. Never let your team outgrow you. Never let your family outgrow you. Never let your kids outgrow you. Never let your customers outgrow you. Never let anyone outgrow you. What does that mean? You gotta reprove yourself every day. Reprove is something this world don't do. Now standards. How do I know if your standards are real or if they're fake? Everybody, I want you to write this down. So under standards, I want you to put show and I want you to put real. See, a lot of people, they try, they're, they're fake leaders. You guys know anybody that runs around like a leader? They know the language, they talk, but they're really not a leader? I know lots of people like this. You guys gotta make sure that you understand that show is what this world's all about and everybody's looking for real. And when they find real, that's when they'll give everything that they have. You wanna be a good leader? Is it important for you to understand your team, yes or no? Yes. You know why a lot of you, your fucking team don't respect you or they don't care or you don't even respect your fucking leader? Because they don't understand you. They don't listen to you. They don't pay attention to you. It's their way of the highway and that's why businesses get dead. I listen to my team every day. They're on the front line. I'm on the front line with them, but they know better than anybody. Now why let them be negative? Why let them get fucking weak? Why set the tone for how she's gonna go? Yeah, but they also hear everything. They understand, I gotta understand where they're at. Most people, they have the ego that doesn't allow this to happen, okay? Imagine if you went in today and say, hey team, tell me what I need to know. What are some things I can do better? Every day you're fucking telling them how to get better, but you're not getting better. And that's why they're not growing. When you show them, hey, I wanna know, I wanna grow, I wanna get better, I'm here to learn. They're like, holy shit, man, like this is different, okay? And that's what I want you to do today, is I want you to be different.